What's going on guys, Ryan with Jetta Patrol, back with another video today. This shiny, like, look, look at this. Look at the shine. It's crazy. Iron Man, Mark 21 Midas, die freaking cast. Let's open it up. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video today. I'm super excited. This video was supposed to happen like five days ago. Like five days ago. So give you a little background on this before we get into the unboxing because this deserves, it deserves that, okay? Uh, I picked this up from Pop Collectibles. Uh, I'm getting, getting day one uh, re releases from those guys over there. Uh, and it released, they shipped it the same freaking day. It's like day one shipped on the, on the plane, right? Wherever it's going. Uh, and FedEx decided they wanted to hold on to it about four days and then just it would sit somewhere in the middle of N Memphis, Tennessee. I don't freaking know why. I never got an answer as to why. So I was supposed to have this last Friday because, you know, anyways, regardless of that, um, it showed up. Packaging was fantastic and it was safe. Box bubble wrap, the whole thing. It was beautiful. I opened all that stuff up and it was awesome. Uh, so thanks to uh, Pop Collectibles uh for uh, being able to ship this out the same day because that was super awesome but i want to take a look at this thing because i'm super hyped for this i was hoping my mark 7 yes my, i got another mark 7 i was hoping the mark 7 would be here in time for this review i did repurchase the mark 7 uh so i it'll probably show up tomorrow because that's how these videos go but i wanted to compare these two it's just not here yet so um we'll do that another time um I'd have the other figures I guess we could compare it to. But the Mark 21 die cast. So this is the House Party Protocol. This is the Midas Gold. Beautiful. They released this in a plastic version many years ago. And that thing was skyrocketing in price until uh, last week when uh, they said, like, this is happening. And there it is. So uh, pretty excited about this. The packaging on this is absolutely beautiful. Let's take a look at it. So right here guys you can look it is it's hard to get the here let's see if i can get this glare off of here just a touch uh no there's really no it's just it's that shiny like it's a metallic paint and i'm gonna just kind of like you can see that right it's crazy I'll, I'll get up closer maybe we'll try to fight this light a little bit uh, but it does have this 20th uh anniversary hot toys exclusive which is interesting because for the 20th anniversary you thought they might give us more than one gold Iron Man for this. Why Why not the Iron Man Mark I? Like, what, what the heck? What's going on, Hot Toys? What are you doing over there? But this is kind of a weird 20th anniversary release. I don't know. Uh, but Iron Man Mark 21 right there. Die cast. Sorry for the glare, guys. It just That's how shiny the box is. It really is that freaking shiny. Uh, there it is right there. Iron Man Mark 21 on the back on the side. There's all you who done it. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, they spared no expense. Look at that. The little arc reactor going on their side. So uh, I'm going to just, you know, just try to open this thing up here a little bit. And I hope you guys are excited about this as I am. I love Iron Man figures. I love die cast Iron Man figures. And anytime they drop a new one, uh, I'm definitely excited to pick it up. The last one I got, which was the, I guess not really the last one, the newest release one, I guess, uh, was certainly the Mark 7. And I picked up the Mark 7 and then I ended up trading it away. And so I rebought it. And uh, here we are. So we're going to have. I'm excited about this. You guys ready? Kind of excited. Let's see what we got. Sorry for the styrofoam. I love this black styrofoam, by the way. Mark 21. Hot Toys is just freaking amazing. Comes to packaging. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Boom! There we go. Oh, man. Look at that. That looks flipping beautiful. So we got the figure itself. We've got some hands. Ooh, and there should be a tray underneath. Yep, there we go. And a tray. Now this is definitely uh, just a repaint of the Mark 7 with fewer accessories. So that's kind of crazy how they how they did that. Uh, I'm gonna get all the plastic bits off of this thing and then uh, let's we'll see what it's all about. Now that we've got everything out of the box, I wanna tell you right off the bat, it's it's pretty beautiful. It's, it's pretty beautiful. We got a, we got some accessories over here on this side. Uh, we got the figure on this side, but I think, let, let's take a look at the accessories and we'll kind of figure out where they uh, go along with the figure. First off, we got this base. I, I dig this base. I like it quite a bit. Uh, we've got the Mark 21 logo there. It's just a sticker. It's just a sticker. There's really nothing. I just, I like the, the arc reactor design. 
And I apologize for the glare, guys, but straight up, it's just, this is a very, uh, it's a very shiny piece. Um, but there it is. I think you can look at that. That's pretty nice. A little flat uh, material going on here. And it's, I, I dig it. It's, uh, it got some light up functions, but it doesn't actually light up. So that's kind of interesting. Um, it's just a reuse base. But I like the little decal uh, application there. I kind of dig that. We do have a dynamic stand. So, oh, hey, flying pieces. Anybody ever lose these things? I think I lose them all the time. Uh, but we do have a dynamic stand. We're definitely going to be using that because he deserves to be in a flight pose, I think. Uh, but I kind of dig that. It doesn't really match any other the stands I have. But for most of the figures in my collection, I don't use the stands. Uh, so whether they all match or not, I could care less, honestly. Well, if they do the job that I want them to do posing-wise, uh, then I'm good with it. Uh, Hands-wise, I want you to take a look at these hands. These are the articulated hands. If you are unfamiliar with Iron Man figures, you're thinking about this being your first one, I would caution you, don't make this your first one. I will tell you why in just a little bit. Uh, don't, yeah, don't make this your first Iron Man figure. Um, but I will tell you right here, this, the, uh, what I expected, okay, and I should have noticed from the photos, but what I expected was uh, a lot of high gloss gold, like chrome paint, okay? And that's not what we have here. And you'll see on the figure, it's gonna make a little bit more sense. Um, this is more like a rose gold. I mean, you can see it right there, the difference in the colors. Uh, this is more of a rose gold, definitely a, a fine metallic finish, but it's not like chrome that we're gonna see you know, elsewhere. Um, and it's, it's more of a matte, matte finish. Uh, but I do like the difference in colors because maybe if it was the all, all gold, then it would just be our Marvel uh, C-3PO uh, that Hot Toys really needs to make for Star Wars. So uh, Hot Toys, listen up, where's our C-3PO? Uh, but there it is, there's our articulated hands. It does light up. Um, if you wanted to, there's that. Uh, I don't use these all that often, but I really appreciate that they give them to us. Uh, most of the times I'm using the Repulsor Blaster uh, hands, uh, but we do have a right and left articulated hand. And then we have our Repulsor Blast hands, which these are just more fun. Um, and you can see like the difference in colors and, and uh, paint going on right there. I just like these. And you need to use these because again, if you're new to uh, Iron Man figures, uh, these are on a 90 degree uh, bend for the peg. And so this is bent versus this guy right here, which is straight. And if you want to peg those in, you're going to have a problem, you know, getting that. So uh, those are pretty nice. Again, these are light up functions as well, right in there, a little LED action. And I think they really did a good job with these. So we've seen these hands before. These are just a repaint of the Mark Seven. So there's that. Uh, we do also have some other Mark Seven pieces. These pieces right here, which I utterly hated on my Mark Seven because they just just would not stay on all that well. So uh, they have little pegs here uh, that we plug into the back of the figure. Uh, they are labeled right and left. There's your R right there, if you might also know. They are labeled right and left. But my, they just failed to really stay on all that well. But these are the missile launching uh, armored pieces that go on the shoulders. And they look amazing. Like there's some silver uh, paint going on here with that matte gold. Um, I mean, they, they look, they are articulated just a, a touch, um, but they're beautiful. They just, I always had mine falling off of the Mark 7. So I'm curious to see, is that gonna happen with this one? I expect it will, uh, seeing how it's just a repaint. But we do have a right um, and a left version of that. So that's pretty cool. All right, then we've got these, these forearm missile launchers. These are by far one of my favorite pieces on the figure because they're just, I mean, they're totally Iron Man, right? Totally Iron Man. Check out that missile launcher right there. Again, with the rose gold going on the bottom, and then this matte uh, gold at the top, silver going on all, all over. I mean, the paint, look at that. Guys, tell me, that's not flipping beautiful. This is more like a, an award <laughs> of an Iron Man figure. Uh, just the quality and the paint and the color choices they made. Uh, they executed it very, very well. And... Um, really quite like it's even got like the gold you see that the gold painted tip uh, on the actual missile i'm telling you man i freaking love iron man figures uh we do have right and left one of those and then we have these thigh launchers and this is that rose copper gold that we're seeing again uh and it's kind of hard to tell let's see here here's a gold piece you can see the color difference so it make more sense because I know these things are just reflecting light like crazy. Um, but you can see right there, this is more of that copper rose gold uh, versus this uh, just flat gold. But look at the silver application. Uh, the tips are painted on the uh, on the missiles there, the rockets. Uh, just overall, just absolutely gorgeous. Again, labeled right and left. I, I will absolutely be displaying mine with all the weapons on them because, you know, I just 
like doing that. But um, the figure itself, all right. So let's let's take a look at this. This is die cast. It is heavy. It feels like you're getting your money's worth when you pick it up. It, it is a. I, I, I guess I could weigh it, tell you how much it actually weighs, but it doesn't really matter. What matters is how awesome it flipping is. And again. We've got this gold piece right here. We've got this rose gold going on here. We've got silver. I mean, lining in here. I mean, look at this thing, guys. Silver going on down the thigh and that rose gold with the gold. I am so glad they didn't just do a flat, you know, C-3PO gold paint. I'm so glad they didn't do that because I think that would have been an injustice to the actual figure. Look at the back of this thing. Look at that. I'm just going to let you guys admire... Uh, this paint just for a second it is absolutely flipping beautiful the silver the gold the rose gold the gray I mean just look at this thing I mean there's not many figures that I just appreciate this much visually um, and I know I said don't make this your first Iron Man figure and I still mean that um, but if you're an Iron Man collector don't uh, this is awesome this is awesome absolutely awesome now it does have light up functions light up in the head light up in arc reactors and the arms uh so we've got that going on that's that's kind of nice um uh just taking a look close up so i can get this piece out here uh taking a close up look at the portrait or actually the lack of portrait the helmet um there's definitely some battle damage nicks and uh bruises and stuff going on here uh like there's one like right there which is a little weird there's one right here um it I'm rubbing my finger across it. It's, it appears to be painted that way, so I don't think that's a error. Uh, it's kind of odd that they put one right there. I don't know. Um, but here, you can definitely tell this is more of a, um, a chrome gold than we're seeing down here. I, I, it's just, it's different. Uh, this is a lot more yellow, orange, gold, uh, high gloss, and then versus this stuff we've got down here. And I, I might be able to show it here. Um, I'm trying to... Here we go. I know, yeah. There's a lot more gloss going on here than in here. Okay, uh, so just trust me on that one. It's kind of crazy, but yeah, it's just. I I think honestly, I might be okay with like an all rose gold one. I mean, I, I like the mixing colors of this thing, uh, and I love that they put in these silver accents going on down here, down the abdomen. I think that's just flipping gorgeous. I, I like this quite a bit, guys. Just paint apps. Now, uh, going around the back, we do have the similar... It's, it's the Mark Seven repainted. I mean, it just is what it is, right? Uh, so you got these little bits and bobs. These are the parts that uh, these pop onto. So that's kind of... These, these just kind of pop right on off. And let's see if I can do that. There we go. See how easy it was for that to come off? That literally, when you start posing these things, these come off super easy. So we'll, uh, we'll just flip this. So this one is the right... And they literally just peg right in there. And that's the only peg to hold these on. So there's a little two, there's a circle and a square. You can see that little line. And they peg right in here. And uh, maybe it'll stay on better than this, the Mark 7, but I'm not holding my breath on that. I definitely don't think that's going to happen. I think they're just going to fall off. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll find out here in just a second. Let's see if I can get that on. Where are you? I'm trying to do this outside. Um, but there it is. So if I flip this around, Boom, there we go. These are articulated just a little bit. Like if you move these around, like that's that's the range of motion. There's not a whole lot, you know, not a whole lot going on there. But this is, yeah, just that one little pick. This would have been way better, I think, if there was like a magnet or something going on the side. That might have been a nice touch, but just being that, those pieces tend to pop out. And I remember them being a nightmare on the on the Mark 7. Um, <clears throat> but the helmet definitely pops off. Uh, you can uh, put batteries in there if you want to light them up. I'm probably not going to do that, but uh, you can check out the attention to detail underneath the helmet. Hot Toys puts in the mold and the plastic and whatnot. Uh, that's just magnetic, so there's that. Uh, no Tony Stark head sculpt, uh, Robert Downey Jr. head sculpt, none of that with this figure. That is one of the absolute downsides of this figure. One of the reasons I would say don't make this your first Iron Man figure. But, you know, I, it's just one of those things. Uh, the arc reactor plate does come off, and this is, if I can get this to pop off here, work with me. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, that does pop off, and that looks pretty cool, too, if you had that display piece off. 
that's not bad a little silver action um that is a little magnetic plate there is a uh some pegs you can see kind of right in there is little pegs but there's magnets there as well uh so that kind of goes right on i dig it uh in the abdomen there's a ab crunch here if you again for you newer iron man collectors these actually extend uh there's one here it's actually one here, one here, and they actually extend to allow you some more range of motion. I mean, look at how much range of motion you can get out of that, and you could probably go further if you really wanted to. It's crazy. Um, these are allow you to do those um, hero landing poses, all kinds of fun flying and shooting poses and all kinds of stuff like that, so that's cool. And when you're done, you're ready to put it back where you want it, you just kind of uh, scrunch it back down, and, uh, and you're good to go. So I'm trying not to break that piece while I'm doing this on the video. Uh, the shoulder plates, again, the, the Mark 7s that bulky armor. I mean, it's 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 a tank, right? It's it's awesome. So that's one of my reasons this is a, one, of, one of my favorite armors. Um, this part right here, you actually just fold that out. You can see this ball joint here. It gives you a ton of range of motion. Uh, you can actually, if you see right in there, you can actually pull this out to give you even more range of motion, which is quite ridiculous i mean you've got 360 degree ball joint there you got a bicep swivel here and i mean you can pretty much do whatever the heck you want with this thing um, obviously you're gonna have double jointed elbows look at ah oh, i freaking love this thing dude uh, there's something about there's that piece look see that's what i'm talking about when you're handling this thing these things are just gonna pop off um there's something about a, a die cast iron man it's cold to the touch because there's die cast pieces and the weight of it you just like i said earlier you feel like you got your money's worth when you when you buy one of these things uh, but put that back in there once you're done moving that around you want to put that armor back and cover up that gap this piece right here is actually what switches out with the um missile gauntlets i remember those being kind of difficult to do on the mark 7 the first time so i'll probably do those off camera um, but you get the idea they're going to look pretty amazing again the silver and the rose gold and the uh, flat gold in there is just amazing. Whew, man, I quite like this thing, man. There it goes. Let me crunch that guy back down there. Uh, head articulation. You're going to have a ball joint. You can go 360. As far as looking up, you should be able to look. Oh, come on now, work with me. Um, you should be able to go up. Let's see if I can get this to work. Oh, nope. It doesn't want to go up that far. Nope. That's pretty much it. We're not good. I was thinking like the Mark 50 um, that had the you know that joint that can go crazy high, but I don't feel like this. And you got a little bit of a ball joint here on the neck. There's one at the neck in here, uh, and there's one on top of the head. But that's really it. I mean, 360, a little bit up and down, uh, but really nothing, nothing super crazy. Whew. What do you guys think about this thing so far? Is this something you picked up? I saw some people. Um, canceling or selling their mark 7 pre-orders uh, or even sold their mark 7 figures they had in hand to get this figure i can certainly understand the appeal i can i can appreciate that uh look at this silver touches going on back here um but uh, like i said I, I wouldn't if you're on the fence with that don't do that just yet uh the legs um these legs drop down so if you want some posing options you can they drop down two notches you can actually move these pieces out and uh, this one right here, I noticed on mine, and I've had this happen with other Iron Man figures. Um, the first, oops, sorry, arm, get out of the way. Um, this right here doesn't really want to come out all the way. It will. I just had to finagle it a little bit, um, and then and then it comes out. You want to do that so you can maneuver this leg, and you can get it way out there, or if you want to get it way behind you, or way in front of you, wherever you want to do that, you want to make sure you get those out of the way. This particular one just. I've been having to uh, fiddle with it. Um, but look at the details going on here, even on the, the hip joint. Double jointed knees. There we go. Double jointed knees. Can do whatever the heck you want to do. No issues with that whatsoever. There's your paint apps inside the knee going on. Beautiful piece. And uh, I noticed uh, there was a piece of plastic in here. Uh, so it was very difficult to get out and then I remember oh, yes, yeah, this is mark 7 the legs come off because it had pod mode and you literally I just literally took the leg off and then that piece of plastic came right off But I was sitting there trying to get that stupid piece of plastic out for a good few minutes And I was like, oh, yeah, that comes out. So I pulled the leg off plastic came off easy peasy uh, Super easy. So um, there we go on the leg down here. All right, you got a normal Iron Man style ball joint guys It'll do pretty much anything you want it to do. Uh, we got some toe articulation, which is kind of nice. Overall, really like this figure. I'm gonna throw it in a couple poses and I'll talk about 
who I think this figure is for, whether or not you should pick it up, and honestly, why you should pick the Mark VII regular version over this one if uh, you haven't uh, purchased an Iron Man figure before. All right, guys, so I've got the Iron Man Mark 21 up on the dynamic stand and a little bit of a simple flight pose, and I want to have some fun with this. Look at the amount of accessories and just utter armor, weaponry, this thing. I mean, it just bounces off the freaking screen. Uh, so we're going to take a closer look at this thing, but right off the bat, I I'm not going to say it's my favorite Iron Man. I, I just can't do it because, honestly, the Mark VII is iconic. The Mark VII has way more accessories. The Mark VII has the uh, unmasked and unmasked or unhelmeted um, faceplate uh, Tony Stark. It's got just so many more I don't know. It's just got pod mode is a thing you might be interested in, but I don't want to take away from this figure. I just, I just really think this is for the collector who is just a completionist with Iron Man. Maybe you just like gold and you have a spot on your display and you want something gold to throw on it. Uh, this would absolutely pop off your um, shelf wherever you've got it, but it's not a must have piece. I don't think. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I'm happy I bought it. I don't regret buying it, uh, but I don't want somebody to go out there and say, oh man, I just I have to buy every Iron Man figure, uh, or I have to have this particular one because it's the newest and the latest and greatest. I don't think this is the reason to buy this piece. Um, and, and again, this is just my opinion. You can, you can buy whatever the heck you want to buy. I, I don't care, but uh, for me, the Mark VII uh, is just a better value. Now this thing comes in at $405 or so retail at uh, Sideshow. Um, the Mark VII is $433, if I believe, uh, if I'm correct. And you get a lot. You get the pod mode. You get the the portrait. Uh, it, the color. You get the iconic on-screen look. You get. I mean, you just get everything with it. Uh, this is an awesome accompanying piece. Now, when my Mark VII comes in, I will definitely do some photos of them side by side. May even do another video because I have I, I have some thoughts on the Mark VII. I really want to uh, share with you guys. Um, but look at the color detail on this thing. Look at those contrasted colors you can really see right here between that rose gold, uh, the matte gold, the silver, uh, and look at the oh those weapons. I love all the weapons. I think I, I, was, I was talking to a friend of mine earlier. I said I think if you get an Iron Man figure, you're almost obligated to put all of the weapons on the figure. I know it's not a war machine, uh, but I mean, just just look at this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous piece. And again, I'm sorry for the glare guys, but it just, it's that shiny. <laughs> it just is. Um, but look at this thing. Look at the thigh armor going down here. Absolutely gorgeous piece. And I, I, I quite like this piece. Now, I will probably have mine in some kind of flight pose. We'll do another couple poses with this figure, give you an idea. Even if you don't have this particular figure, maybe you just want an Iron Man uh, pose options, uh, which I've done quite a few in the past. I want to give you guys a shot of this uh, thigh uh, rockets right here. But you can see just the, the range of uh, colors and details and everything going on with this piece. I think it's, I think it's gorgeous. I think it's gorgeous. I'm a big fan of this thing. Um, you know, I, my all-time favorite armor is definitely the Mark 46 concept. The Mark 7 is way up there for me, and I'm going to be doing a top 10, top something of uh, 2020 releases very soon, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about some Iron Man releases uh, for that as well. I'm sure there will be an Iron Man figure of some kind in that list. Um, but you guys can let me know down below what, what would be your favorite of 2020 while we're on the uh, talking about it. But I, I'm a big fan of this thing. I'm going to go ahead and put it in another pose so you guys can get some ideas of maybe another way you might want to display it. And uh, we'll see what it looks like. All right, guys. So coming around the bend, I have the Mark 46 concept next to the Mark 21 Midas, which is looking pretty freaking stellar. I, I like the contrast, uh, the red and the gold. It looks fantastic on any Iron Man figure. But when you look at the gold on the Midas... Uh, it's an it's another level of gold guys. I gotta be honest with you. It's it's pretty it's pretty ridiculous It's pretty ridiculous uh, Amount of gold now. I had the Iron Man mark 46 concept in a uh, landing hero pose Which is not the most fun pose to put a figure in uh, to be quite honest with you. It takes it takes a little getting used to if it's your first Iron Man figure. Um, so once I got it in there, I didn't really want to mess with getting it out. But I do want to take a note at the colors. You guys can see the colors between these two guys. It's actually quite similar. It's actually quite similar. 
Um, the 46 concept definitely is a flat, uh, but you can see it, it's, it's quite similar. It is really is. But here's the Mark uh, 21. I want to give you guys a close up of this pose I've got him in. Literally, it's just a standing up. Uh, I'm going to use every weapon I've got pose, uh, kind of standing up with some um, power, some presence. Uh, you can see his weapons going on there on his thigh armor. I've got the bottom on his legs. I've got all the little flaps open on his little stabilizers that he uses uh, that I carry over again from the Mark uh, 7. He's got the thigh flaps up. He's got the little. Um, uh, back calf flaps up and uh, just look at the colors on this thing the more I look at this thing the more I really like the colors I really do uh, here's a closer look at those uh, flaps the aerial deal that comes open all these kind of different things you want to be careful in posing these things you want to make sure that you open those last because otherwise you will end up breaking one off and uh, nobody wants to do that but uh, here's a look at this pose for you guys Look at this guy. Dang. Don't mess with him. All right, guys, so maybe you don't have the Mark 46 concept. Maybe you've got the Mark 47, honestly. But there we go, guys, another pose for you. I've got both the 47 and the Mark 21 up on the dynamic stand. I will tell you, also bang for the buck if you are not gonna get the seven. The 47 right now, by far, an excellent, excellent value, uh, bang for the buck if you want an Iron Man figure. It, you get a Tony Stark head sculpt, you get three different helmets, you get uh, light up functions, you get the, the you, just so much stuff. And you get this awesome paint, by the way. You get this awesome paint. I did a video on this, you can check it out on the channel. I did a whole review on this, this piece right here. Uh, but that's definitely got some merit if you think you might want an Iron Man piece. Um, definitely consider that one. But we're here to talk about this gold one. That's what they look like side by side. That's what I'm saying. This piece is definitely going to stand out in your collection amongst all your other pieces. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Big fan of this thing. We've got them right there following down some rockets, uh, stabilizing down there. I've got all the little flaps and stuff going on, the legs, on the thighs, and the, uh, the shins and the calves and everything going on. And you can see how this light bounces off this thing. If you've got a properly lit display, it's going to look it's just going to look beautiful it's going to look beautiful uh, but while i'm letting this thing spin for a little bit i'm going to give you my final thoughts uh as the uh, 47 kind of rolls around uh and then the uh 21 right next to it so uh like i said earlier i, th I think there's better value out there i think the mark 47 reissue is a way better value uh, i think the mark 7 is a way better value bank for the buck the mark 47 i think is like 300 and 50 bucks or something like that. And then the Mark 7 is 433, but you get pod mode, you get so much other stuff. The Mark 21 is $405. It will be releasing in the States probably into January, somewhere in that ballpark, maybe sooner. Uh, if you want day one releases, like I've got here, this obviously has not hit the States yet. Uh, you can check out Pop Collectibles. I'll put a link to their Instagram down below. Uh, they've got payment plans and all that kind of stuff for you guys if you want to do that. But um, if you want, if you don't want to wait three months for them to show up, you know, it's a good option for you. Uh, I'm definitely doing that because uh, YouTube. But these things right here, this this 47, uh, I'm actually quite shocked by it. Uh, I'm going to spend some more time with it, uh, but just spending a couple hours with this thing in person with the right lighting, it's it's a standout piece. It's a standout piece. Uh, I still think if you're going to get your first Iron Man figure, go for the 7, go for the um, 47. Uh, it's coming soon. We are going to see, throw this out there, we're going to see the Mark 85 before the end of the year. So when the 85 shows up, the clean version, then we'll obviously put it next to that one because there's a lot of gold and red on the 85 as well. Um, but that's definitely coming before the end of the year, so stay tuned for that. I will absolutely have that on the channel. If you want to see day one uh, releases and reviews and unboxing and stuff like that, subscribe to the channel because we got pretty much, if it's being released, we're going to get it and we'll have it here. And uh, we'll have it um, within the first uh, few days of being released. So uh, pretty exciting stuff with that. And uh, if you haven't checked out Patreon, you can check that out down below. And obviously we have channel memberships. We have all, all kinds of fun stuff going on there. Uh, but more important than that, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's a great time to do so. And check out uh, Jetta's Patrol on Facebook where we got all kinds of uh, helpers and collectors and all kinds of different things in there. No matter what you collect, uh, definitely check out that group uh, because it's a good place to be. We don't have any drama, no headaches, no uh, backbiting, none of that garbage that you find on YouTube, all our uh, Facebook and YouTube. And... Um, 
it's just a good place to be. So yeah, thanks to Pop Collectibles for uh, getting this to me fast because that was very much helpful. Thanks to FedEx for holding it for four or five days for no uh, no reason at all. So uh, MVP goes to um, uh, FedEx. So guys, as always, collect what you like. See you next time. Yeah.